The Liberal Democrats have had a bad few months, from believing Jo Swinson could become Prime Minister to Jo Swinson losing her seat. The party now languished with only 12 MPs in Parliament and at 6% in opinion polls. And this weekend, it got worse. Um, so they were forced to suspend a candidate um, to be the mayor of, of London, the Lib Dem candidate, or, or someone who was a prospective Lib Dem candidate for the mayor, mayoralty of London after an anti-Semitic video of her emerged. We're going to show you that in, in one moment. First of all, some background. So this is um, the now ex-candidate in question. It's Gita Sidhu Rob. She's a millionaire health food entrepreneur who recently held the position of vice chair of the People's Vote campaign. Um, so you can see how she would become a prospective mayoral candidate for the party if she's, she's come straight from the People's Vote. Um, but last Tuesday, so last Tuesday, they announced that Sidhu Rob would be on their short list of two um, to become the party's mayoral candidate for the for the London elections next year. So it was whittled down to two. I think Lib Dem members in the city were going to get to vote between Sidhu Rob and, and one other candidate. Now, her shortlisting originally caused controversy because of comments that Sidhu Rob had made on the Channel 5 show Rich Home, Poor Home. Remember, this woman's a millionaire. Let's go to an article in Politics Home, which sort of gives us some background as to what she had said on that Channel 5 show. So in October last year, Miss Sidhu Rob appeared on Channel 5 reality show Rich House, Poor House, where she swapped her £7 million London home for a two bedroom flat in a community housing project in Lambeth. During her appearance, the former vice chair of the People's Vote campaign said staying at the top of the council tower block was her idea of hell on earth and described leaving the safety of Chelsea as an edgy experience. The Lib Dem hopeful was also filmed alongside a friend struggling to use a can opener and saying she did not want to drink tap water. So far, so Lib Dem. And I presume there were many at the top of the EU flag-waving party who were nonplussed as to why anyone think it would be problematic to put someone forward as a candidate for London mayor who had said such things about living on a council estate. However, a second video would be harder to ignore. Um, so this is a clip from a BBC documentary called Campaign Confessions. It followed candidates in the 1997 election, one of whom was Sidhu Robb. Um, she was then standing as a Conservative candidate for Blackburn. Actually, I should give you also a content warning. There is racism in this video, very explicit racism. In Blackburn, the message from one Labour van prompts decisive action from Geeta Sidhu. Hello. The Labour Party is going around with a microphone at the moment, saying she's against Islam. She's not Muslim. She's not one of us. Don't vote for her because she's against Islam. And this is making it racist. It's making it personal, particularly considering the fact that my husband actually is Muslim. So we're just going to pull the gloves off. I'm going to get a car and walk around and drive through town telling everybody Jack Straw's a Jew. As a Muslim, I'm going to vote for someone who's Jewish. That's it. That's what happened and that's what we're going to do about it. I didn't want racism and bigotry to play a part in anything that I had anything to do with. I object strenuously to it. I did it because I was furious. Um, so, I must admit, I wish I hadn't done it. Now, I mean, you shouldn't laugh because, I mean, it's incredibly serious. Someone shouting, you know, about a, a candidate, they're a Jew, and also assuming that Muslims are going to be anti-Semitic. I mean, it's racism on so many levels. Um, it does, you know... Uh, that pause and then she says at the end I shouldn't have done it and at the beginning she said oh, I would never want to be involved in a racist campaign and that is the most overtly racist campaign I mean I've I've seen a clip of in a long time and she wasn't suspended from the conservative party either she made it to two general election day obviously she she lost um she came second in that seat it was won by Labour um and it was only after that video emerged this weekend that the Lib Dems I mean they had no choice but to suspend her I mean Ash watching that watching that video I mean this was in 1997. Since then, for the Conservatives, since then, this person has become a, a vice chair of the People's Vote. She's then moved, you know, into to quite high positions or, or potentially quite high positions in the Lib Dem. She was shortlisted to be one of the two people who would stand as the, the Lib Dem candidate for the mayor of London. This has come out and she's, you know, they've had no choice but to kick her out. Well, I mean, what do you make of this story? I mean, watching that video, you're right, it's completely shocking. It's like spherical racism. Whatever 
standpoint you use to look at it, you see racism. It's racist against Jewish people, and it's also racist against Muslims in terms of the expectations uh, she has of how Muslims and Jews will relate to one another. It's horrible. It's absolutely disgusting. But I think what it demonstrates, and I think what, what this woman demonstrates more generally, is that what is often identified in the left as being a crank actually is not unique to one partisan political position. Here's someone who is pretty firmly on the center right. She was a conservative. She moved towards the people's vote. She then became a Lib Dem. Right. That's a pretty, uh, you know, moderate, quote unquote, centrist uh, political journey to go on. And throughout that, she's always had this kind of cockeyed worldview, whether it's her appalling behavior on that loudspeaker or some of her other interests. Uh, she's been on the record saying that she thought that her son's vaccinations caused his eczema. Uh, she's interested in this kind of, you know, alternative nutrition kind of stuff. It's that real kind of, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow goop kind of thing, which I absolutely have no time for um and it's it's cranky in the, in its way it's cranky except it's so it's seen as more acceptable because it's not on you know the partisan wings of the right or the left but it's 100 percent crank behavior mm, i would say easy miss for londoners but whoever becomes a lib dem candidate there is no way that they're going to win the the london mayoralty next year so i mean I, I think londoners would always have been spared but this is obviously incredibly embarrassing for the Liberal Democrats that this person got so far, presumably, I think, just because she had, you know, ex-vice chair of the People's Vote next to her her name and without looking seriously into, you know, the depths of, of, of this person's horrific politics. Mm -hmm.